I'm Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're getting into some spring cleaning. I'm going to do some decorating too. I'm not decorating a ton for like Easter and spring, but I do have a few fun things like um, our entryway table and our like little three tier tray and a couple of other little pops of Easter. So we'll be doing that today too. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get into some like organizing and also some deep cleaning <clears throat> to really get this house ready for spring and there are so many things I need to do so I'll probably do a couple of parts to this little mini series of spring cleaning but thank you guys for being here don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below if you enjoy this video comment below your best spring cleaning tips for me and um, don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into it I'm going to get started in the kitchen. We already had our dishes loaded from last night, but there wasn't a ton, so we didn't start it. So I'm going to add our breakfast dishes, and then we will just work our way through as much as we can today. You wake me up in the middle of the night. You say I cannot wait till the morning. Some things just happen. Hey guys just checking in um thank you so much for being here how are you guys all doing i um i'm just getting things straightened up because there's always toys all over our house <laughs> before we can delve into some actual deep spring cleaning but i wanted to bring one thing up before um and that is just the reel that is going around on instagram if you guys have seen about how you have four years of little kids and then it's over and if you blink you miss it I just think that is like the most poisonous way of thinking and that might be an unpopular opinion but here is why I feel like all of that all that does is bring on the mom guilt and um, make you feel like shame if you haven't soaked in every moment that you can um, and I actually really don't think that way of thinking helps you soak in the moments better I think it just causes you to feel panic and guilt <laughs> so I would encourage you guys to ignore that type of message and rather focus on, um, yeah, being present with your kids and also giving yourself grace and realizing that you're probably doing the very best that you can. Um, and that is enough and, you know, making improvements where you want to, but don't beat yourself up. I just feel like that type of thinking is so dangerous and I think we'd be better served giving ourselves grace and being present with our kids and not living in shame. So just some food for thought. All right, you guys, we're about to move our couches, and I'm terrified. It's gonna be so gross. What do you think you were gonna find under there, honey? Sticky <laughs> stuff. Probably a lot of missing toys, which will be good, but I'm kind of scared to see. So, we're gonna move our couches, get everything vacuumed up and cleaned up from under there, and then deep clean our actual couches as well. Okay, guys, this is so bad. Look at that. I think that's an apple. Like an old, rotten, shriveled up apple. I don't even know. That's so gross. No, that is a ball. No, over there. Look at the other thing. So here's what we got. I'm so excited to get this cleaned up. So sick.
have chemistry But always chasing after someone else So this took me by surprise Oh yeah So many things we had been missing. I found my missing um, AirPods in the couch and missing toys, I think an earring, like just so much stuff. I always laugh at how much we find, um, but it was so nice to get those cleaned out. And I'm really bad at cleaning our windows. Like they get so dusty, um, especially if we have them open. There's so much dust where we live that it gets really gross. So I'm using a microfiber cloth and the Love Mag multi-purpose spray. And it has like a minty fresh scent, so it's kind of a nice one. guys this um, cleaning has got me so motivated to really really declutter our toys we have so many toys <clears throat> and I honestly hang on to them because I it's like sentimental I'm like oh but our kids still play with them or they will and here's the thing I feel like we have so much that our kids can't even like really focus on <laughs> stuff to play with <clears throat> you know what I mean like I feel like if they had less they would almost enjoy what they had more so I think I'm gonna go through and have that be maybe I'll just have like a toy declutter video and that could probably be it in its own video because we have so much stuff and a lot of it's just like all that we can get rid of and isn't working as well anymore or is like broken and I just need to get rid of all of that stuff and just pare down what we've got so it's not so overwhelming because um, I feel like there's always just toys everywhere so I think I'm gonna try to do that in um, one of my like get organized videos here soon but I'm gonna have to let go of some sentimentality for sure <laughs> I don't really struggle with that except for with my kids stuff for some reason what do you guys struggle holding on to like comment below because I'm always curious <laughs> like what do you have a hard time getting rid of So in case you're wondering, I'm taking off our chair covers. We have covers that are almost the same color as our chairs and we had family over for dinner. So we just put them on to protect them, um, you know, just with like lots of kids and stuff. But we do keep the one on Henry's chair all the time and it has saved our chair for sure. <laughs> and it blends in really well. So, but we got a full set just in case. So that's kind of a good tip if you guys um, want to keep your chairs protected. It's nice to have some covers that look close to the same color um, you can keep them on for kids or just like when you need to when you have um, company or when you're doing art projects stuff like that Maybe it's still worth
the advice that I wanted to take a minute and address like the obvious state of our world right now. Um, if you guys follow me over on Instagram, I'm at Kristen Perkins Life, and I'm not saying this to promote myself. Honestly, right now I am just saying this because over there I'm sharing a whole bunch of ways that you can help um, Ukraine and just all of the ramifications of the war um, right now. So. I've been really active over there in sharing um, how to donate, giving you guys information on like legit research, um, valid information on what's going on and um, how you can help. So if you guys want to follow me over there or you can just go check out um, my highlight of Ukraine, you don't even have to follow me, go do that because I just feel like it's so important to um, not like gloss over what's going on and kind of go about our day-to-day -day lives and forget about it. I totally am an advocate for like staying happy, staying mentally happy and, and living your life and to make sure that you can stay that way, but also being aware of all of the tragedy that's going on because it's truly heartbreaking. And I have just been just like astounded at the level of like evil that is happening right now. Um, and I just think there's so much that we can be doing and advocating for these people and for humanity in general. So go check out my highlight Ukraine on my Instagram at Kristen Perkins Life. And that will give you guys some helpful information if you have been wondering um, how you can help or you can donate to um, that is like a valid charity or organization. Um, there's several suggestions there. Even when my teardrops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is And none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs Sick and tired of love songs I'm so tired of you Ooh, Sick and tired And as you guys will see this video, I mean, I do get a lot done, but I really just focus on our living room and kind of like main floor. Um, and then I do, I do have some Easter decorating at the end of this, but this purpose of this video is not to like make you feel like you have to go do all these things. It's just to give a little bit of uplifting, fun motivation. If you want to spring clean, um, you don't have to, by no means you have to spring clean your house, but I think it's just like a nice little reset. So don't feel guilty if you're not. You can sit on your butt and watch this video. <laughs> I don't care. Um, just if you want some motivation, I kind of think it's fun to clean along with somebody else. So that's the intent of all of my videos. I'm never trying to get anyone to feel like they have to do anything. Um, you know, we're all a hot mess a lot of the time, including me, especially me. Um, and it's okay. So I don't want to like, make you feel even more overwhelmed with life. This really is to just give some helpful motivation, some fun music to listen to, some like chit chat and just like have a companion while you get up and clean, but you really by no means have to. So I just wanted to make that clear and really that goes for all my videos. Pay off someday and the pain that you feel
Okay, so I'm just doing our little three-tiered tray and those little vases on top um, are just from Target, the dollar spot. They were a dollar each. And then I just grabbed a little stem of daisies from Hearth and Hand, I think, and clipped them up and stuck them in there. And I am honestly reusing a lot of things I have from Valentine's Day, if you guys watched that one. But I switched some candles out for more color, added some Easter candy and those cute little bunnies. Um, and I just think it looks fun. I feel like Valentine's Day, like the pinks really go with Easter and spring. So that's why I chose to keep like that little potted plant and the pink candle and then these pink little sprigs. Um, but I think it turned out really cute. So if you're wondering how to do a three-tiered tray, um, it's really helpful to make sure you have like something that kind of goes throughout the whole thing to tie it together, like the stems and then the, these little daisies, and then have like sort of a color scheme you stick to as well. But um, I am no expert. I just think this turned out really cute though. So, and honestly, it's so cheap. Everything is pretty much from Target, like $5 and under. Okay, I've got my little helpers with me. Um, on holidays, I don't do much decorating like Easter and Valentine's Day. I pretty much just do my entryway table and my three-tiered stand. I think it's a really fun and fairly simple way to have like pops of the val or pops of the holiday without having to like go all out and spend like a thousand dollars on decorations. So. Um, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I've got. Henry's helping me and then I will end up moving some stuff where I want it. But um, I'll show you guys at the end, like tell you guys where I got everything. But um, this little entryway table was like $15 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's definitely run down, but it totally works. We're gonna probably like refinish it at some point. Um, and I, my little um, table runner got spilled on. so. That is in the wash right now, but hopefully I'll show you guys in my next video the final, final product because I also need to find something to put in this pink basket. I'm not sure what. Um, comment below if you have any ideas for cute Easter filler for this basket, maybe another blanket or like some cute like stuffed little <clears throat> bunnies or carrots or I'm not sure. Let me know if you have any ideas, but this cute little bunny garland is from... Um, let's see, Marshalls, I believe, and then, no, Home Goods. And then these bunnies were from Target. Um, I think they were both, the smaller one was three and the bigger one was $5. And then I already have this plant also from Target. Um, and I got this cute um, vase and stems I've had, but the stems I got from Hobby Lobby and these are left over from Valentine's Day. And then Easter eggs are from, are from Target and so is this bowl. Um, I wanted something a little fancier for the bowl, but this is kind of all I could think of, so I'll probably switch that up next year. But then I just got some leftover vases and stems down here. Um, then yeah, I need something for this cute wicker bas or, uh, wire basket from Target. And this little egg was also from Target. Pretty much everything is from Target if you guys are catching on by now. <laughs> but this was like three or five dollars, I can't remember. And then I love this pillow also from Target. It was 15 and it's my favorite thing that I got this year. I think it's so adorable. So that is what I've got. But yeah, I do need to add a couple of things. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope that this motivated you. You were able to get some cleaning done along with me. Um, I'm going to be, like I said, doing a, probably at least one more part to this um, spring cleaning series. And I've got a lot more organization videos coming for you guys in the next few months. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the red notification bell so you don't miss out on content. So thank you guys again for being here. Please, please, please comment below your favorite spring cleaning tips, um, products you love, um, Things you, tools you like to use. I love getting ideas for how to do things more efficiently. And so, yeah, thank you guys for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.